Thank you so much for the organizers of the conference and for Marco uh, for giving us this opportunity. So I'm going to tell you more about Cultivo and what do we do and how do we do it? More importantly, how are we growing? So Cultivo is very much focused in our mission to accelerate investment into nature at scale. And very specifically, we're targeting to regenerate 1% of the world's land to healthy ecosystem. That is about the size of Mongolia or two states of Texas combined. How do we do it? Let me show you first a brief video. More than half of the world's economy relies on nature. Natural capital is an emerging asset class that actually values the natural world. Institutions around the world are beginning to understand why we need to invest in nature now. But the main question is, how? We use data and technology to identify high quality projects across the globe. Think search engine for natural capital. Our tools deliver data-driven intelligence in minutes meaning we can identify through our proprietary algorithms how degraded attractive land is, how the land cover and vegetation has changed over time, and forecast the natural capital returns, including soil moisture potential, carbon capture potential, biodiversity gains, and what the best methodologies are allowing us to quickly and confidently identify high quality projects, which we then package into investment products that show investors the full financial, natural, and social returns. Once a project receives investment, our NGO and project developer partners work closely with local communities to implement the project, which are audited by third parties and monitored taking data from experts on the ground, sensors, and satellites, giving investors and all stakeholders transparency and confidence. It's by cracking the how that we believe we can unlock investment into nature at scale. Well, and with that, on the how, the, our customers primarily engage with us in three types of portfolios. One, where we unlock natural capital in their existing lands. We look for where the natural capital is, what are the yields, and how should that institutional investor, either a financial or a corporate, should deploy capital. The second one is the one that you see in the middle, is to create portfolios of natural capital, but for institutionals that don't have land assets. Same approach building portfolios of natural capital, but with a blank canvas. And the third one is for the monetization of the credits that come from the natural capital portfolios. And this is primarily much downstream on the transaction on the credits themselves, such as carbon credits. Now, how do we do this? The value of natural capital starts from the land asset and building it up to the types of land use, from wind farms to regenerative agriculture, grasslands, water projects, you name it. But the, what matters is the natural capital gains are uh, being created, specifically biodiversity, water, and carbon. What this provides to uh, our land portfolio uh, it, throughout our portfolios is new revenue streams that increase the value of the land by increasing its climate resilience, as well as changing the EBITDA per hectare quantum and profile. This catalyzes new investment into the land and increases also brand differentiation and the state value. Now, as we go through this, one example of those projects is a grassland portfolio in the north of Mexico that continues to grow within uh, our, our existing portfolios, but it's one that has um, a lot of potential. So from not only the SDGs that it's touching, the permanence that it has, the quality of a grassland to store carbon, as well as to create, to really, really make sure that the biodiversity, the water, and the social aspects of the project continue to be not only visible, but very much so real. And so all of our technology is, to de is deployed to make sure that the practices on the land have the social and the environmental safeguards that a high quality portfolio should have. We've done this, therefore, at an institutional grade where we're working with the likes of IFC, Aspiration, AIDA, 
the World Bank Climate Warehouse Facility and the new Climate Action Data Trust. It's all about transparency, and we've been able to do that with multiple customers, but one is this Carbon Opportunities Fund that we've launched with the IFC, Aspiration, and CHET, all around the climate warehouse from the World Bank. Now, we are a growing team. We're global and diverse. We're now 20 full time across the US, Mexico, the UK, and Spain. And we are headquartered in California as a public benefit corporation. We continue to drive a lot of talent and support for what we're doing from the likes uh, of our team, but of course, also at the board level. We have Mark Carney, Mark Tersek, Brace Young, Lucy Thomas, Gabriel Korschneider, Francisco Martinez, all very committed individuals into what we're doing. More importantly, they're leading in this industry. As we go through this, the global origination platform that allows us to create these portfolios allows us to really go deep into each one of the assets that make up these portfolios. And more importantly, being building it up from the ground up. And by that, we mean biodiversity water that then in a nature-based solution project drives carbon capture, carbon removals, but all hand in hand with the communities, the local NGOs that allows us to move at speed. More importantly, we continue to be leading the field of grasslands. Grasslands is sometimes missed in the, in the field of nature-based solutions, but it covers more than half of our planet. That size of uh, the endeavor that we have in front of us just with grasslands is more than 3 billion hectares. And we continue to build portfolios of grasslands across multiple markets, generating carbon removal credits that are low risk and reliable, especially around the whole ecosystem that we've set up. And more importantly, that ecosystem is how to really execute it around the world. So the way we do this is by creating this docking station for natural capital. We articulate and assemble all the elements that you see on the left, from investors to technology solutions, of course, project developers, the registries, local partners, and super start charge that through speed, efficiency, transparency, not only with the technology platform, but with expert investment professionals, environmental and data scientists, natural capital yield experts, land operation experts, and very much so social impact specialists. As we go through this, Cultivo continues to be identified as a handful of platforms in the space that could become a unicorn, but really really uh, believe that this is all because we continue to build trust with those ecosystem of partners. And we really believe that capital moves to nature at the speed of trust. As we're doing through this, we're really uh, finishing the foundations now, and we're now for setting for scale. So we have a growing pipeline of customers. Our revenues continue to increase. We have a proven model. We have repeat customers. And we continue to partner prolifically with leading NGOs with significant land access, as well as other types of landowners. We have proven technology platform, and we're closing a financing round to continue to accelerate the growth. So we are all about scale because that's what our planet needs. We need to move faster. So please, uh, looking forward to receiving your, your interest and your questions, and thank you so much for your time and attention.